I think we should get a taste of humanity and come to our own conclusions about the world that we live in. And one of my favorite ways of doing this is by capturing these honest and authentic moments out on the streets. And it doesn't matter if it's a small town or a big city, I feel like I'm connecting to it in my own way. Welcome back everyone. If you've been following my channel or my Instagram for a while now, then you know how much I love doing street photography. When I'm out there capturing these images, I feel like I'm taking the pulse of the area and I'm getting a taste of what makes this place so unique. Let me know in the comments what street photography means to you. Now, with all that being said, today we'll be learning about five secrets to get the most, I mean, to get every little last drop out of our street photography. And stick around for number five, because I think that's the secret for success every single time you go out to do street photography. Let's jump in. My first secret or advice is to blend in as much as possible. It's so easy to want the world to know about your presence. And of course, we're all unique individuals, but I think it's important to humble yourself and simply observe everything around you. Think about your mom, your brother, your best friend, you know, that person that listens to you. Now think about how great you feel after every conversation you have with them. Well, that's because they simply listen to you and they acknowledge you. I mean, they don't really have to have a conversation. Chances are you did all the speaking for them. Well, now it's your turn to do that for the universe. And when you do this, the world opens up in ways you can't even imagine. All you have to do is be ready to capture those beautiful moments when they come to fruition. I have never left a session thinking, how boring was that? Instead, I always leave saying, how cool was this day? Or I'm glad I met that person because they were so interesting. Let me know in the comments what your favorite street photography moment is. Here's another one of my secrets. Never carry more than one camera and one lens. Now look, obviously this is just my opinion, but I strongly advise to simplify everything as much as possible. Remember, we're trying to capture authentic moments. And when you have a sling with cameras and lenses over your shoulder, you run the risk of snapping people out of intimate moments. This is why we should methodically think about what gear we're gonna take out that day. And look, in street photography or any photography for that matter, gear varies from person to person. It can get really expensive, but this is what I think you should do. I strongly encourage you to have a prime lens and anywhere from 35 millimeter to 50 millimeter. The reason why I go with those focal ranges is because it captures so much, especially in street photography. I mean, you can sometimes be really close to your subject and you wanna capture as much as, of the surrounding area as possible. And it gives you a lot more to work with in post-production. All right, let's jump into number three. Get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself whenever you go out to do a session. This is something that has improved my skills tremendously. Try standing in a busy area and asking random people if you can take their pictures. Only photograph blue subjects. Mess around with your aperture. Okay, so you get the idea. The challenge can be anything, but just make sure it is a challenge and it makes you go out of your comfort zone. And you'll know internally because you'll feel really weird about it. Let me know in the comments how you challenge yourself. A challenge that I did recently was I went up to random people in a busy city and asked them if I can take their pictures. It was so uncomfortable for me at first, but it was so much fun. And the people that participated had so much fun and it gave me this new sense of confidence and I got to work on my skills too. Let's go to number four. Listen, I understand the need and want to explore new areas, but I think it's super important to learn an area like the back of your hand. Go to this location when it's raining. Go when it's a golden hour. Go at night. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised just how much there is in one location. And when you master a spot, you develop this cool relationship. And whenever you go to revisit that area, you get right to the good stuff because you know all the places. All right, let's go to number five, which is starting to become my favorite now. Personally, I like to go in it alone when I do my street photography. But for an upcoming shoot, I'm gonna bring my brother for a portrait street photography session. And I'm already looking forward to it. And I have so many ideas. And this is really important, especially in photography, because when you do the same thing over and over, even if you're going to different locations, it can kind of get boring. You need that inspiration every now and again. Also, when you bring a friend, it allows you to explore the world and share unique moments that you would have experienced alone otherwise. Those experiences turn into amazing memories. And when it's all said and done, memories are all we got. I really recommend you doing this when you don't really have any expectations or if you feel like you're in a rut. And remember, photography doesn't have to be super serious every single time. Go ahead, be silly and laugh every once in a while. Okay, so now I hope you see why I think street photography is the best. And if you follow what we learned today, then you'll be hooked and capturing amazing moments in no time. Now that we have permission to be silly, get out there and pursue your passion.